imprints as you go. So the, the hundred on the reformer. So we just lower down, Tabby. So I've got the headrest up on this one. Got the long straps on. Got the, I've just got the footrest on a low one. At that part of it, it doesn't really matter too much. And I've just got a yellow spring and a half a spring on. Again, you can play around with the springs, but let's go through the actual hundred. Usually used as a warm up. So in this position here, bring your legs to a fair frog position with the feet are together, knees apart, arms perpendicular to the floor. Now a number of things happen at the same time now. I, I prefer imprinted, but if you want a neutral pelvis or spine, that's fine. So you're gonna breathe in to prepare, and on a breath out, a number of things are gonna happen. You're gonna bring yourself to a chest raise, bring the arms down, extend the legs, squeeze the legs together and reach away, and then it's just a normal. You're breathing in and out for five. Breathe in for five, breathe out for five, or whatever breath pattern you wanna do. But this is what it is on a reformer. Now, the challenge on the reformer is, can you keep the carriage still as you're beating the arms up and down? Pumping the arms up and down, bracing the legs together. Shouldn't be able to open Tabby's legs. You're a patron. And just bring it in, Tabby. Lower down. Any questions in relation to that? No. No? Okay, so a couple of things for keeping the carriage still. One is a little bit of a, I use a bit of trick, and the other one is more technique. Let's show the trick one first. Remember, if the, when the arms move, your shoulder blade's gonna move. So just don't overthink it. Uh, just bring it up and start the 100 again. Away you go. So one simple trick is, what some people do is the shoulders are already against that, so they're on a hide and to not, and as soon as you pump your arms up and down, the carriage is gonna move. So just simply lower yourself down. Just bring yourself further away from the shoulder rest. And then bring yourself up and pump your arms up and down. Now in theory, that then should help keep the carriage a little bit stiller, a little bit stiller. That's a, more of a trick. A technique one is this, so just lower yourself down again. You're gonna be knackered by the end of the day, aren't you? <laughs> and it's simply, when the arms move, the shoulder blades should move. If your shoulder blades are in touch with the carriage, then the carriage is gonna move. It's just mechanical, it's just physics. So one, and it's, is try and come up off of the shoulder blades. So you're mm -hmm. just about off the shoulder blades if you can try that. And it's one of those ones where the breath out does make a difference and actually bracing your legs can make a big difference. Really squeezing those legs together. It's basic hundred. But make sure you are breathing not, Tammy. And then lower down, and that actually helps. Bracing, it's surprising how bracing the legs together and really being, uh, it's quite stiff and rigid in that part of the body can help keep the, the, the carriage still. Yeah. Uh, as always, there's, there's things, you, as every single move on the reformer, you can change the resistance, which alters it. Can alter it quite dramatically uh, to make it harder or to make it easier. I'm not gonna do that here. The only other variation you might well think of, no different from the mat. I'm gonna use the ball today. You can use the ring, similar thing. Bring your legs to a frog position, put the ball there. Uh, let's do it slightly different. Do five in, you only do five in, five out. You can do 10 in, 10 out. You can do whatever the hell you want. Yep. Do five in, five out, in your own time, just the way you go. As you bring it up, you're gonna extend the way. You're trying to keep the ball, you're still squeezing the ball. You're trying to keep it under control, the legs under control. But do five and then bring it in for five. Just bend the legs back. No, sorry, I meant back to a frog and carry it on. We don't rehearse, oh, okay. by the way, for a reason. So do five like that. Once you've done five, stay pumping up and down, just bring the knees in. Back to the start position, you can't carry pumping now. Work the abdominals in a completely different way, and the legs, and the control points of view. You get the idea? That's it. Bring it in low down. Any questions in relation to that? No, I could feel the difference where I'm having the ball further and closer. I could feel that. In it, it works, it's yeah. not so much, uh, yeah, it works the abdominals in a different way. They're having to, when you're sending them out, they're having to act as a break, if you like yeah. to think of it like that. I prefer that one in and out, even yeah. on the mat, to be honest with you. And that's the uh, 100 on the reformer.